Hello, hello, watched on your movie map and I'm back. So, got a good one to show you today, actually. Another 4K Blu-ray to show you. And this one hasn't been released in the UK yet. So I can show off a little bit. But I decided to get Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, in 4K. Now, I did get this about two or three weeks ago, so I have opened it already, so please don't get upset that I've taken the plastic off, but it was difficult to watch it with the plastic still on, so I had to take the plastic off in order to see it, uh, but I can still show you the back cover. Nice little back cover there. We'll take the slip cover off for you, a bit of alternate artwork there and uh, let's have a look at the inside so got a digital code for anyone that wants it there's a digital code there if anyone wants to have that feel free first come first served obviously because uh, it only works once um, so if you load it and it doesn't work it's because someone else has already got it okay uh, on the inside we've got a blue blu-ray over here and a 4k disc as well so it's all very exciting isn't it uh, so i did previously own the original blu-ray there um, i did have this this is obviously the uk edition what with the bbfc rating on the bottom there um, the us version is no different so there's nothing like extra about it, it wasn't cut for the cinema or anything like that. But yeah, so I had a little look at the 4K disc and I had a little look at the Blu-ray as well. I watched the whole thing in 4K actually. Amazing sound, bit of Dolby Atmos in there. There is Dolby Vision on the disc as well for you people that love Dolby Vision. So there's something else to get excited about, isn't there? Uh, 4K wise was an interesting one because it's a really good it's a really good restoration from what i could tell there was present grain as you might put it but i think that it's one of those it's one of those restorations where the grain goes really well with the style of the film because it's quite an old ish looking gritty film anyway um it's half it feels like a lot of the time that it's been shot in black and white and then every now and then there's bits of color to remind you that it's not shot in black and white i mean even if you just look the front cover there you can just tell that it's one of tim burton's things that he does there are some films that he makes that basically look like they've been shot in black and white very little presence of color but that being said the black levels are really good the white levels are really good and when the other colors are in there especially when it comes to blood um the reds obviously the reds look amazing but all the other colors they stick out when they need to stick out so all in all i would have said it was a very good 4k uh, obviously if you own a 4k player you can get this imported from the us because it will still work over here it's not a region locked 4k i was trying to work out if the blu-ray was region locked to the us because there's nothing on the disc and there's nothing on the case that says it's just region a i mean i probably could have had a look at the blu-ray and found out for you but you know, I didn't do that. I've already got the Blu-ray, so I compared it to that one. But uh, as far as I'm aware, it probably will be a Region A Blu-ray. But, you know, I have had some US imports that have come with multi-regional Blu-rays as well. So, who knows? Uh, I do enjoy this film. It's a lot of fun. It is a musical. Uh, so, do go into it knowing that it's a musical. Don't be like all these that have been to see Joker at the cinema recently and come out crying about it because it was a musical. You know, people knew that Joker was going to be a musical before it was even started to be filmed. So why all these people are surprised when they come out of the cinema, I have no idea. But you know, we're not, we're not talking about Joker 2, we're talking about Sweeney Todd. Maybe we'll talk about Joker 2 at the end. I'll throw that in there for you, I'm nice like that. I really enjoyed this film. A nice revenge plot, a nice bit of singing, 
about pies. You know, you got a lot of singing about pies, and yeah, it's nice to hear Johnny Depp singing outside of his band. If you haven't heard his band, you should definitely hear his band. They're called uh, I can't remember something to do with vampires. I really can't remember what the band's called. Look up Johnny Depp band. Alice Cooper's in the band. Uh, fuck, what are they called? Uh, Johnny Depp's band. The Johnny Depp band. Fuck. Vampire hunters. Wow, oh, bollocks. <laughs> nothing like seeing a little bit of Johnny Depp singing I mean if you guys have heard his band the Hollywood Vampires you would know that he can sing which helps when you're in a musical as well helps if you can sing but yeah all in all good performances like Alan Rickman is in here Sasha Baron Cohen is even in here as well so if you guys don't like Sasha Baron Cohen I'd say watch this because you get to see him being killed spoiler alert but you know it's right at the beginning so I'm sure you get over it uh, so yeah Sweeney Todd for you good film good Tim Burton film as well and there's not many of them to be fair really is there oh uh, yeah so anyway as I was saying uh, Joker 2 Folle a deux is a musical just so you know um, a lot of people have gone in to watch it and come out really angry because they didn't know it was going to be a musical so please be aware that it's a musical um, I've personally seen the film myself uh, I know that it's been panned a lot a lot of people are hating on this movie a lot of people don't like the ending a lot of people don't like the fact that it's a musical I myself am going to join the rare crowd because I was one of the people that left and said do you know what that wasn't half as bad as I thought it was going to be granted there are moments in there where I think you didn't need to do that especially when it comes to some of the musical points there are a few little musical numbers not a lot of them but there are one or two musical numbers that I think kind of take you out of the film and then bring you back into the film and I just think you could have just not done that and just left that musical bit out and just kept the film in the moment that it was in so there were there were some moments not a lot but there were a couple of moments where I felt you didn't need to do that you didn't need to have that musical moment but you know when it's a musical you kind of have to expect songs and singing and musical numbers so in a way it didn't disappoint me at all I didn't have issues with the ending not that I'm going to talk about the ending because it's still playing in the cinema and there's still people that want to see it so I'm not going to discuss the ending as of yet maybe when it comes out in 4k because it's definitely one that I'm going to get when that comes out in 4k it looks absolutely beautiful it sounds absolutely incredible get out to see it in the IMAX because there's loads of decent IMAX sequences in there and frames dropping back in and then dropping out again you know what I'm like when it comes to frames but yeah I would say yes definite yes for me I really enjoyed it um, but yeah that's that's a little little brief look into the new Joker for you okay uh, so that was my exciting video for you today um, yeah I'm not gonna say anything else because I can't be fucked um, I'm gonna go if you guys could like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'm gonna fuck off okay Goodbye.